The following is the first introduction to Math 241 Trigonometry. And in this first introduction, we will discuss uh, or introduce uh, Pythagorean Theorem. Now, Pythagorean Theorem uh, is pretty much as the following. Suppose we are given a right triangle with legs uh, with length A and B. Now, when we say the legs of a right triangle, it refers to the size uh, of uh, the right angle. Okay? Now, if you have a right angle here, then two sides that adjacent to it will be called the legs. Now, the sides which is opposite to the right angle is called hypotenuse. Now, Pythagorean theorem says that suppose A and B, A and B are the length of the legs of a right triangle. then the length of the hypotenuse the hypotenuse C here is given by C squared equals to a squared plus b squared. Now, I will not give the proof for this Pythagorean theorem. In fact, as I know, they are at least, uh, they are uh, known to be, there are, there are 64 different ways to prove this Pythagorean theorem. Uh, but if you took trigono uh, geometry before, math 120, then you will see uh, how they prove it with uh, quite a s simple way of proving it you know of course it, this involves a lot of uh, ratio but uh, we don't worry about that here we worry about uh, you memorizing this theorem now remember uh, what it says is this the square of the hypotenuse is equals to the sum of the squares of the leg okay this a and b here will be the legs of the right triangle and the C will be the hypotenuse okay now remember that a squared plus B squared uh, is not the same to a plus B being squared uh, this is not equal to this is not equal to a plus B squared okay no they are not the same no. okay no, if, if they are the same, then it would have been written this way. But no, it's not the same. Okay, C squared equals to A squared plus B squared. Now, let's do some example on how to apply this formula. For example, suppose I have a right triangle. I would just use without, without the ruler. Suppose I have a right triangle and let's say this is a 3 and this is a 4 and this is the one we are looking for okay suppose we have that right triangle then you see that the x here is the opposite of the right angle the side x that's then it means that's the hypotenuse right now the hypotenuse will be standalone x squared equals to the sum of the squares of the other two three squared plus four squared okay now when you take my class or any 200 level class you need to be patient okay don't just look at that and then try to get the answer fast no so you know it won't work that way x squared equals to 9 plus 16 x squared equals to 25 therefore x equals to supposed to be plus minus 5 right yeah supposed to be but because x is a length 
then we just say x is equals to 5. Now that's the first uh, example for Pythagorean theorem. Let's see another one, another example. Hold that example 1 here. Let's see example 2. Now suppose I have a right triangle like this. Okay, and let's say uh, the length of one of the leg is 12, the other one is unknown, uh, and then the hypotenuse is 13. Okay. Now, notice that the hypotenuse is always longer than the other two. Okay, let me, let me write it up there. A little note that the C, the hypotenuse, has to be longer uh, than A and B. Okay. Okay, now coming back here in the example 2, you see that 13 is the hypotenuse with, because that's the opposite of the right angle. Right? Then 13 squared equals to x squared plus 12 squared. Which, if we compute further, this is 169 equals to x squared plus 144. And please do not do this uh, pre algebra or even a uh, very immature uh, way of showing work like subtract 144, subtract 144. No, no, don't, don't show it that way. Show it this way. 169 minus 144 equals to x squared. Like that. Okay? To undo an addition, you subtract. Does it make sense? Okay, and then we subtract. We get 25 equals to x squared again. Uh, then x equals to 5. That's the second example in which we still use Pythagorean theorem, uh, but the one unknown here is the length of one of the legs, while the hypotenuse is given. Now, let's see another one. Let's see another one. Uh, so far, we deal with uh, nice numbers. Let's see uh, ugly numbers. Uh, for example, I have a right triangle that looks like this. Now, suppose that the hypotenuse is 3 and one of the leg is 2 and the other one is unknown so you see that the nature of this example 3 here is the same to uh, example 2 right okay because one of the leg is unknown now uh, then uh, that's the hypotenuse 3 is the hypotenuse so 3 squared equals to 2 squared plus x squared uh, this is 9 equals to 4 plus x squared um, 9 minus 4 equals to x squared so x squared equals to 5 right are we done see we have the same answer right no we don't have the same answer here the x is 5 here the x squared equals to 5 so what is x the square root of that Okay, supposed to be plus minus, but this time we use the positive branch because x has to be a positive number, right? Okay, now last one, last example. Uh, this one may be a bit challenging for some people. Example four. Suppose I have a right triangle. It's like this. And then we know that uh, one of the side is one of the leg is x, and then the other leg is two x. While the hypotenuse, let's say, is uh, thirty. Uh, I just pick up random number. Okay. Now we will find uh, the x if we see that the hypotenuse is thirty, right? So thirty square equals to the sum of the squares of the legs okay <coughs> now we are squaring the x we also square the 2x okay now remember you need to use parentheses here without parentheses you are only squaring the x with parentheses you square the 2 as well okay now this will be 900 equals to x squared plus 4 x squared that's 900 equals to 5x squared. Now I will divide by 5 
900 divided by 5 equals to x squared. Let me continue on the right hand side. Uh, 900 divided by 5, I believe that's 180 equals to x squared. So x equals to square root of 180. Now from here, I hope we remember how to simplify this. This is a square root of 36 times 5. Now, if you don't know how to do this, then review your uh, Algebra 1 or even Algebra 2, Intermediate Algebra in uh, college level. Now, this will be 6 square root of 5 equals to x. Okay? Now, uh, example 4 requires some uh, understanding in dealing with uh, higher level of algebra not simply pre-algebra level, the one you see in example 1, 2, 3, no. Uh, in example 4, you need to be able to set up the equation correctly, and then from there you solve it. One of the skills you need here is the ability to simplify uh, radical, square root. Okay, now, you are in 200 level class, and I do expect you to be able to do question in example 4, in the systematic way not uh, do not try to do problems by just looking at that and get the answer that's not 200 level class and you will not survive in my class if you if you have that kind of mentality if you are smart then you should be able to write down what you have in your mind in a systematic way okay now I guess this task uh, this example here is quite easy to understand once you write it down Okay, if you don't write it down, you know, you make even easy question becomes quite difficult because our brain, our mind is are not designed to answer question like instant noodle. Okay, we don't do instant noodle math here. Okay, this is again 200 level class and I expect you to be able to have a systematic way to set up and to solve a math problem. Okay, that's for uh, Math 241 Trigonometry class, the first introduction on Pythagorean theorem.